does anyone else do this thing where they plan to be so organized and they give themselves time to be organized and then you've just like not done it this is where we're at today hello tea friends on the internet my name is jackie welcome to my tea nook today we're talking about ways that you can spot a high quality loose leaf tea. So stick around if you want to know what the difference is between a low quality loose leaf tea and a high quality loose leaf tea. Did the intro. How do you see it? Well you can actually see the leaves. When you are actually purchasing the tea, something that you want to do is maybe look at the tea. Can you look at it? Can you see it? Can you see how big the leaves are? For example when you're buying a box of twinings they have a little clear window here and you can actually see how big the bits of the leaves are. When you are buying from somewhere like T2, you can open it up and have a look. You can have a look and you can see how big the leaves are. And that is a very big difference. So these leaves, when they're not steep, most of them are about a centimetre long, which those ones from Twinings, those are about a millimetre long. Glass jars can be really helpful when you're buying tea because you can actually see what the leaf looks like. You probably can't open this up in store, but you can see it. It does say oolong, it says loose leaf, so it's a pretty safe bet that the leaves are going to be kind of big. Now I'm just going to steep some of these leaves and I'm going to show you what they look like when they're unfurling. So in this little cup here, I have this. Say Chang Oolong from Gaia Botanica. The leaves look pretty big and they're all rolled up like a nice oolong. In this cup I have the China Jasmine. These are around, some of them are like a centimetre long, some of them are a bit smaller, some of them are a bit bigger. And in this one here we've got the Twinings um, English breakfast tea. So I've got a gram of tea in each of these teeny tiny little cups. I've got my kettle, I just boiled some water, it's hot. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I've got blood everywhere. So I put them in. Um, things I can tell you is that the English breakfast, which is the lowest quality leaf type, that liquor, the, the liquor of the tea, that's what they call it. The, the, the tea juice. The tea. It's already going quite dark, which is what I would expect with something that's been broken up so much. The China um, Jasmine, I can tell that it is um, seeping out. Um, maybe like well, maybe a slightly green, um, a little bit brownish liquor. And the oolong is probably the um, the lightest shade. I'm just gonna let these go ahead and and keep steeping because what I want to actually show you is the shape. So we're just gonna sit here for a bit. It's very scary. The thing about oolong tea and the thing about the higher quality leaf is that you can get multiple steepings from it. These these oolong leaves that were so tightly rolled up, um, they're slowly unfurling. And what you could do is actually have a number of steepings with that tea and the flavor profile is going to change. Whereas something like this um, English breakfast, you're only gonna get one good steeping out of that until the leaves are gonna taste like nothing. So that's kind of one of the things that you get with a larger leaf, a higher quality, bigger leaf, you're going to get multiple infusions, which I mean, it's nice. It's nice to sit down with a pot of tea and just kind of refill it and watch the flavor profile change. So nothing was ever really gonna happen with this English breakfast. This one, the middle one is starting to unfurl. This oolong is nowhere near ready to unfurl. Like you could get quite a few steepings out of this. This smells really We're gonna start with the Twinings English breakfast tea. This is their loose leaf tea. Oh, okay. Have a little look at this. Did these leaves get any bigger? Look, not really. And in here I could also see bits of stem. I mean, I could see them when they were dry. They're more noticeable now that they are damp. Here there's some bits of stem. And the leaves themselves are just bits of broken up, bits of broken up leaf. And that's fine. It's just a lower quality tea. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna taste bad. You can still brew these in a way um, that's gonna be nice. And if you want to know how to brew a lower grade tea, let me know. That's what the leaves look like when they're being steeped for the English breakfast tea. Now we're gonna take a look at this tea to China Jasmine, which is a green tea. And you can see already, I'm actually pulling leaves out. What have we got here? Now I think I might actually be able to get my fingers involved with these ones. So we've got some, some broken up bits of leaf. 
but you can clearly see that that is a part of a leaf. I'm going to pull a few of these open so that you guys can have a little look. -see. Would I recommend steeping this green tea again? Look, I haven't actually tried a double steep of, of this china jasmine. I might give that a try. If you do a really short first steep, you might get a couple. And, and it just depends on how, how you like your tea. I'm going to put these back. I'm such a grot. I'm so sorry. See, this is a little bit disappointing. That bit is mostly just stem. So you're going to want to not just have like stem in your, in your higher quality tea. So this is kind of like a middle of the range typical tea that, that you could get say from T2 or like tea center your sort of bigger tea retailers this is kind of a bog standard okay so I've delineated these a little bit for you now so you can see here on this side we have the English breakfast it's um, a lower quality loose leaf tea that you can buy from the supermarket here in the middle we have the China jasmine and you can see that there there are bits of leaves there you know that's nice that's nice it's yummy tea. Now let's see how this oolong's going. If we can pull apart some of these leaves now. Yep, I think we can. Okay. Look, I just managed to pull a whole leaf out for you guys. It's a whole leaf. Like, it's actually a leaf. This is what tea is supposed to be. Leaves. And even so, um, these leaves, they're not fully ready to lie flat. Um, you could get multiple steepings out of this, which is really, really nice. Like, look at this one. This one's still, like, he's still kind of all bundled up. He's still got flavor. He's still ready to go. He does not want to unfurl. Here we go. There's another full leaf for you. That is pretty clear. Okay, so under this hand here, we've got our, um, our oolong tea, and those are full leaves. The leaves are mostly undamaged. It's a really nice high quality one. In the middle we have our China Jasmine which is kind of like a medium quality loose leaf tea and down here we have a low grade um, loose leaf tea from Twinings. Twinings T2 Gaia Botanica. So that is a nice little experimentation in like what the leaves do, how they steep and so the moral of the story the bigger and fuller the leaf the higher quality of the tea and the more life you're going to get, the more flavour profiles you're going to get out of it, the more nuance and depth. So if that's what you're into, go ahead and pull your teeth apart and make an absolute mess like I did here. I don't know if you guys can see the mess, but like, I can see the mess. If you enjoyed this, if you liked it, if you learned something, I mean, it'd be pretty cool if you could like, like and subscribe and stuff and I will see you here next time. Bye 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 bye. Def dip the the. Fat lady man. Words.